Welcome to My Technical Romance. I am Ken Hess, your host. <laughs> and, and I'm Joseph Butler from Short Film Guys, also known as Video Guy Joe on the YouTube channel. Awesome. So today what we're going to review is a messenger bag and also the sling bag, both from 24-7. 24-7. So would you like to go first with your sling bag? Yes, Ken, I would like to do that. I, actually, this weekend, well, uh, I went out on a bicycle ride with this the clean bag, and uh, so it still has a few items in there that, that I that I utilized this weekend. My son and I went out riding. Um, I got a new new bicycle this last weekend. So, awesome! Uh, it was kind of cool to go out there. So this is the sling bag, and the nice the thing that I like about it is it's a small compact size. Um, there's you know, it's not bulky. I've I've ridden uh, last year. I, did about 4,000 miles, wow. coming back and forth to work, and uh, and I and I used a regular uh, regular backpack for computers, and it's bulky, and you really have to cinch it down to your to your body, otherwise you feel like you've got this sling thing that <laughs> funny word sling, but you, it feels like you have this this object that's got like carrying a bottle of water and it just uh, wobbles back and forth. Yeah. Whereas this, it was. It was really snug up against my my back, and so it didn't. It felt like it was part of me. Cool. Um, but in there, um, I I had a few items. You got the, it opens up front, so this actually will take take water off coming straight down. So it won't go into any of the compartments. If you'll notice that this has got a like a neoprene or some type of almost a kind of a rubberized or yeah. something vinyl style. Yeah. Well, it, it opens up to compartments. There's some places for other objects right there, probably a granola bar or something like that. There you go. And I, I have, and there's compartments within in here, and we'll show you on a closer shots here in a minute. But I got, I was able to put my inner tube because you have to replace those, my spoons to take the tire off of there, and um, a couple other items, some air and battery backup. For my phone, some lenses for my camera, power supply, some cabling, and then the the device that helps me utilize my air for a tire if it goes flat. So that that all fit right there in this compartment. And and the thing that I didn't realize, which is kind of kind of cool, I didn't realize this. It actually opens up. So if I want to utilize Can show the whole bag. I want to utilize this whole bag inside the here. I can unzip it and put in a whole, fill the whole bag up like like a regular bag straight oh, down. Oh, yeah. it has a removable compartment in there. Huh? Yeah, exactly. So wow. it makes everything one big compartment. So it's a big, big giant stow bag. Oh, wow, that's very cool. Whereas, whereas now, so when I was riding, I had it on my back and then I slung it around like this. That's probably why they call it a sling. And I was able to pull my camera out straight out of the out of the uh, compartment, which is right right here. And they have a uh, can they have a, a little compartmental uh, thing with uh, Velcro on there, so you can make different compartments. In oh there. yeah, yeah. I, I took that out because I didn't need it. Um, it's a nice option, but as you can tell, I, I have everything that I need to go on a bicycle ride and replace my tires, uh, to to be able to shoot regular film, uh, and if I needed to get extra light, specialized flash. You know, I, I had my flash in here, a flash unit. Um, so it really, really is nice. The last thing that I really like about this this bag was at the bottom because there's a lot of rain here in Oklahoma <laughs> it's because we, earlier I talked about how it's it waterproof with just this which this will deflect the water and there as you notice there's no pockets or anything oh, so yeah. the rain will just bead right off of there well there's this one added feature that they have on this bag and it's at the bottom you pop it open this little cover and it goes over the top of the bag which is great. That, that keeps the water out of there. The other really nice thing about this thing right here, it's reflective material. And when I'm out riding on my bicycle, I need visibility. Oh, yeah. If you see a big old orange thing, 
coming or out there, you're gonna look, you're gonna see this. That's true. On a bicyclist. Yeah. So that that's really one nice feature. I, I'd probably utilize that even if it weren't raining. And it's attached. It's not. Uh, yeah, it does not come off. Yeah, it's not something that you have to stow away. It looks like it's it's attached here, but it has a hideaway pocket too. Correct. Yeah. For when you don't use it, that's pretty cool. So that's the the sling bag. So, what do you think of the bag overall? What would you say, like, out of ten? Out of ten, I would probably, I would probably, in all the bags that I've used over the years, I would probably give this like a a, a seven to eight. Um, there are some needs improvements, um, but the oh, I forgot one other thing to tell you that that probably would make it an eight. When you have this this on here, uh, the bag connected um, on your body. Let's see if I can do that real quick. Oh, I'm sitting it. But if you put it on and you're trying to adjust it to your person, these, this little lever right here, that, and that's why I have a hard time. It's a great, great feature. It makes, it's a quick release. Oh, yeah. So you can adjust. Cool. The only problem that I found was while I was riding, it, because I adjusted it, and then all of a sudden I didn't get it tight, oh, yeah. and it came loose again. So it made it, it made it, the bag move a little. So bit. you actually have to clamp that you down. Have to clamp it down. So oh, yeah. that was probably, and that might be me, but that that was one of the things that it didn't like. Yeah. Um, and so that's why I gave it that rating. But here is the next thing that's kind of cool. So you you want it act to, to make it feel snug on your body. You connect this other part right here and you it has a slide rail here so it will adjust oh. it so you can lower the um the way it grips around your your, your waist oh, yeah. instead of so high and then it kind of snugs it into your back i That's, guess it would all depend on your posture on the bicycle too whether you're bent over or, right. or kind of up yeah yeah very and cool that, that that is one of the nice features because of the, it when you're bent bent over it is aerodynamic and you, you, the wind will go over your back, and every little bit helps while you're out there. Now you had quite a bit of stuff in there. I mean, you've got that big flash, you've got a battery for the flash, you've got your charger, you've got lens covers, you've got all this stuff plus your camera. How was the weight balance and, and everything on your body? Yeah, that, it was perfectly placed. Once I used these quick releases that they have on here, I could I found a place that allowed it to be snug up against my back and and um, without even knowing that it was on my back anymore. It, it became part of my, my profile while wow, I was on cool. the bicycle. So uh, let's say that you stopped riding and you wanted to take a picture of something. Can you actually you know, place it around you quickly and get your camera out and, and ready to use? It, 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 um, it took a little bit to get used to, but I can tell you this, when I would carry my camera before when I went bicycle riding, this is how I would carry my camera. Oh wow. I would carry it like this. Yeah. So I'm always having to adjust it. Or like this, and it would get right here in my arm and I would want to put it behind my back all yeah. the time so it keep coming around. Whereas with this with this bag, I could just move it around in front of me, pull it out while I'm riding along, pull it out. Sure. And go ahead and start taking pictures. And you know, compared to a regular backpack, I would think that this is way better because, you know, with a regular backpack, if you're riding, you're going to have both straps on and they're going to be relatively tight and you won't be able to, Reach you're not going to be able to get to that camera. Right. So, uh, yeah, that's that's a pretty cool deal. So what is this? Now, this top is made sort of of a rubberish neoprene thing. What is, is this Cordulon, you know, that tough stuff that most camera bags are made out of? I, I believe it is. Um, um, it is has a water water repellent type behavior to it, yeah. And and it's it's actually raining here in Oklahoma, and so this weekend we're going to get some. So I'll I'll, I'll be able to uh, in our written review of this, I'll probably be able to tell you how waterproof it is. I like that I like that big twenty four seven thing there, and you saw it on the orange. You see it on the side here twenty four seven. Did you see the bottom side? Of oh, it? that is very cool. That's kind of a sculpted in look there. For the for the bag that's uh, that, that just gives chiseled. it chiseled. I think that gives it a uh, uh, 
a refined look. Yeah, that makes I it like that. The value of the bag go up just just on the details alone. And here's the inside of the bag, if you can see that, the uh, deep inside pocket there, and um, you know it's got the upper pocket. And like he said, there's a uh, separator there that you you can uh, not remove, but you can you know readjust it so that it's a single you can show that all the way through there if you want see you can you can actually open the thing all the way up so you can uh, put big stuff in there like he was saying earlier that's very cool i like it so you say seven to eight maybe a seven and a half out of ten yeah that's what i'd say it's it's a really good bag um it really actually it does um uh, it is designed for a photographer and and a bicyclist it really is designed for that purpose I would like to have a little bit more room, um, but I think that for just going around town on a little 40 mile ride, this is perfect because I can sure. go shoot my my film and my uh, pictures as I go and, and not even know and, and be able to carry what I need for my bicycle ride and what I need for taking pictures. So what's the retail price on this? I believe, was it about $79, $89 or something like that? I don't, I don't I, remember. I can't remember exactly. But um, it was really inexpensive. We'll have that on the video uh, so you can see that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll provide the pricing here in a little bit. All right. Well, that was the sling bag from 24-7. It's available at uh, Adorama, the uh, online retailer for uh, video and camera uh, apparatus. So... Uh, Take a look at that if you want, 24-7 sling bag. I'm Ken Hess with My Technical Romance. And I'm Joseph Butler from Short Film Guys.